All right, this is just an addendum to the last video that I did about how I get my mineral foundation to look just really beautiful on my skin, very natural looking, because that's my look, all right? I'm not into, not into full on glam. Oh my cat. I'd shoo her away, but she's really been wanting my attention a lot lately, and she's like chasing me around the house and everything. I'm gonna let her stay here. Um, I did wanna mention that obviously, Finding a formula that works really great with your skin is essential. I can get any formula to work with my skin though, to be honest. And finding the right brush and learning to apply it properly because there's a huge learning curve, especially if you're new to mineral powder. And I'm not like pumping this brush by any means. It's ridiculously expensive. I happen to get it at 50% off and I've just always wanted to try it. I do have some of the La Bella Donna mineral powder, and again, it's very, very expensive. I get it on sale, or I found some on eBay as well, and I just wanted to try the brush. So they had uh, Black Friday sale, they had 50% off, and I did grab um, a couple of things, and I did get this brush, because I just wanted to try it. Again, it's really expensive. The reason I'm showing it is because I just happened to have it out. It's what I was using, and it's, it's not a dense brush, uh, but it's not so fluffy that it doesn't work either. Um, again, it's really great for beginners because when you're first using mineral powder, if you're not good at it yet, it's very easy to over apply. And this just does not pick up an enormous amount of product. And because it's fluffier, and I'm just gonna kind of show you what I mean, see how it bends, okay? It's more like a powder brush rather than a foundation brush. And honestly, I really, really prefer this because you get a much more natural look. And if I need extra, I'm just gonna go in and just do a couple of more layers. Now, I have a lot of different brushes. I use a lot of different brushes. I talk about how much I love the Lily Lolo bronzing brush. Okay, I love their large kabuki as well, but I really love the bronzing brush. And I have a lot of brushes that I love, uh, that I use. I do even use brushes that are a little more dense. Um, I love the older Bobbi Brown dual-ended foundation brush. Um, it's like the new one, but it's just better. It's just better in my opinion. It's got the perfect little dome shape. The bristles are just perfect. It is more dense though, and you have to you have to be able to work with a slightly more dense brush, but I do prefer a softer, fluffier brush, to be perfectly honest. I don't like them so fluffy where nothing happens, where like nothing happens at all, and you're like barely getting anything on your skin, but it's just finding that sweet spot. What I will say though is that the Jane Iredale Amazing Base does require a slightly more dense brush, so this would not be ideal with my Jane Iredale, simply because it's a very sheer formula. This being a fluffier brush, it's a lot of effort to get it to cover up my readiness. But with some of my other powders that are a little bit uh, more coverage, this works really great. And I tend to, I tend to gravitate towards uh, formulas that are a little heavier just because you're like getting more bang for your buck because you use so much less, significantly less, um, and a fluffier brush is gonna be great for that. I would say that my Jane Iredale Amazing Base is probably the sheerest formula that I have, and again, I love that foundation. Like I do, I love the way it looks on my skin, I love everything about it, but I'm not inclined to use a brush like this. I'm gonna use a slightly more dense brush. But again, this is the La Bella Donna Mineral Foundation Brush, and again, I'm not here promoting it. I'm not suggesting it. I'm not recommending it. I do like it. Like, I do really like it. I think it's overpriced, but I do really like it. And again, um, I like the shape of it. And I've talked about how I love this tapered shape. I really love the tapered shape because you can really get in around your nose. But again, it's not going to apply foundation heavily. It's going to apply it very lightly, but that is that is what I go for. And I've talked about that a million times. So again, I do find that this really helps getting that natural flawless application versus a denser brush where you have to be really careful and it can start to look very much like makeup. And again, I'm pretty good at doing it. I'm pretty good. Sometimes though, I apply it like without a mirror and then I look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, because I do forget how much coverage you actually can get with a mineral powder. 
it's really easy to overdo. Okay, so again, a brush like this doesn't have to be this brush, but a brush like this. Again, it's somewhat dense, somewhat. You can see how it bends over a little bit and stays. So again, it's got a little bit of density to it, but not a lot, just a little bit. And it's fluffy enough to give you enormous control over how much mineral powder you get on your skin. So I just wanted to mention that because formula and brush and application, learning to use it. I always recommend that people learn to use it when you're not going anywhere. Just practice, practice using it. Because again, most people don't get it right the first time, okay? Unless you're really used to using different, you know, powdered formulas. But um, most people either use too much or they can't get the coverage they're looking for because they don't quite know how to layer it and they don't quite know how to get that application you know, going. Um, but again, it's just, it's a learning curve. But anyway, I just wanted to mention brush matters, formula matters. Some people prefer certain formulas over others. Know that if you have a heavy hand, you're probably going to do better with a lighter formula, something like a Jane Iredale Amazing Base. Okay. But if you can, if you can master, you know, master that lighter hand and that lighter technique, you can go with a heavier coverage foundation. That would be something like Young Blood. I find the Lily Lolo to be pretty heavy coverage. Uh, Heresy Cosmetics is pretty heavy coverage. Their full coverage one. Purinata is a pretty full coverage as well. And then again, there's a whole bunch in between there. You know, there's a whole bunch um, that kind of are more mid, I would say kind of more in the mid range with my amazing base, Jane Iredale being probably the most sheer out of them all. And again, I do love them all. There is a special place in my heart for Jane Iredale, though. I love her products. I've been using them for over 30 years, or 30 years, 30 years, good 30 years, because I think she came out with them 30 years ago, and I, I got them, like, within that first, first year. So anyway, this is just a similar style brush that I'm, that I'm talking about, and again, and again, it's pretty nice. It's a nice little hefty brush. Feels good in my hand. I love the short handle. Uh, again, even even at 50% off, it was still expensive. It was a little under $30, 20, 20 something, but closer to 30. And again, I don't normally like to pay that much for brushes. It is a synthetic brush as well. I do have a couple of refer brushes that I've gotten at 50% off, and they're still they're still fairly expensive. Um, yeah, so I do have I do have some expensive bougie brushes. I've got some it cosmetic brushes. I do. I'm lucky though. I found some at Marshalls. I found a few on eBay. Uh, I have gotten some on sale, you know, like at Ulta or something. So I've been pretty lucky with finding really great products at a really reasonable price. And again, 50% off for this. Again, not something I would normally pay for a brush. I don't normally pay $30 for a brush. I've got some Youngblood brushes too that I've gotten on sale. And again, they're still expensive even on sale. Um, I don't normally do that though. I've got brushes from Amazon. I've got brushes, you know, from all over. And honestly, I've gotten some really reasonable brushes that are the bomb, that are just as good as any of my expensive brushes. So you do not have to pay a ton of money. So I'm not showing you this brush, telling you you need to get this brush, okay? But I do have to say, it's really beautiful. And I used it today. And I absolutely love it, okay? So again, a brush can really help you getting that flawless, natural, beautiful look. Okay, and again, we're talking about people who want to look real. Okay, who want to look real. All right, because um, that's what I'm all about. Being real, looking real. And again, somebody might say, well, if you want to look real, why do you wear makeup? Well, I wear mineral powder because for me, I see it as skincare. It protects my skin from the elements, especially from hot sun in the summer because of the damage that I've suffered on my face. I absolutely need some protection. And because of all of the damage I've had to my skin in the past, I have a very ruddy complexion. I have a histamine thing and my mast cells go crazy sometimes. And I, I end up with this very, very ruddy complexion. So I do use it to kind of tone it down. So for me, it's really skincare. And again, it does, does help me look a little better too. So it's kind of a win-win and I don't wear it every day either. But again, you know, it is what it is, right? Um, like anything else, we all want to wear clothes that flatter us and make us look good. Well, maybe not everybody, maybe not everybody, but I know that, you know, if I'm going to wear something, I don't want to wear something that's going to make me look dumpy and horrible. 
you know, unless I'm just like hanging around the house doing laundry or something. But, you know, I think for most of us, we want to at least look as good as we can, you know, um, but I want to do it naturally and I don't want to do it, you know, with all this artificial stuff. So anyway, going to be signing up for now.